What's going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Doctor Who. This is going to be Season 1, Episode 3. Let's go. Sneed and company offer their sincerest condolences, sir, in this most trying hour. Grandma had a good innings, Mr. Sneed. Oh, oh, okay. Oh! Oh, shit! Zombies? Is it a zombie? The unquiet dead. Hold that one down. I'm holding this one down. Quina! Where have you been? I was shouting. Mr. Enpa's grandmother, she's up and on her feet and out there somewhere on the streets. We've got to find her. Ult? <laughs> oh, come on. Hurry up. She was 86. She can't have got far. What about Mr. Redpath? Did you deal with him? I know it's not my place. And please forgive me for talking out of turn, sir. But this is getting beyond now. Something terrible is happening in this house. And we've got to get help. And we will. <laughs> Tommy! Telling me you're all right? Yeah. Earth, Naples, December 24th, 1860. <laughs> SOS. It's Christmas. All yours? Think about it, though. Christmas. 1860. Happens once. It'll never happen again. Like every day that's happened. Except for you. No wonder you never stay still. Not a bad life? Better with two. Go out there dressed like that. You'll start a riot, Barbarella. There's a wardrobe through there. First Barbara. left, second right, oh, oh. third on the left. Go straight ahead, under the stairs, past the bins, fifth door on your left. Hurry up. You tell me, girl. What do you mean? 1860. Lord. No, sir, I can't. You what a boring sight. time. It's not right, sir. Look inside, girl. Look deep. Where is she? She's so alone. Oh, my Lord. So many strange things in her head. But where? Who's him? The great man. All the way from London. The great, great man. Time you were on, sir. Absolutely. You sure. Uh, I was just. You're looking a little rough. Looking a little rough there, Christmas bud. Eve. Charles Dickens. You can have mine if you want. Oh, I wouldn't dare. I've, I've been rather, let's say, clumsy. You speak as if it's all over, sir. Oh, no, it's never over. Didn't they say 1860 and not 69? On, on I go. The same old show. It's never too late, sir. You can always think up some new turns. No, I can't. The lure of the limelight as potent as a pipe one. Blimey. Don't laugh. <laughs> you look beautiful. Considering? Uh, Considering what? That you're human. Ready for this? You do not look like... Go. History. You are from that time, bud. Oh, God. Creepy. I got the flight a bit wrong. I don't care. It's not 1860, it's 1869. I don't care. Oh, okay. I don't care. It looked like... Oh, my Lord. Oh, God, what a creep. Look. What? Pantus Magoria is this? I beg you, it is a lantern It's a trickery. Fantastic. Oh. Bye-bye. Did you see me and the master deal with it? 
this this poor lady's been taken with a brain fever. We have to get her to the infirmary. Cold. You chloroformed Rose? Get her in the hearse. Legs. Oh no! Projection on glass. I suppose who brought you up to it? Yeah, mate. Not now, thanks. Oh, you! Follow that hearse. The best short story ever written. You're a genius. You want me to get rid of him, sir? Uh, no, I think he can stay. Honestly, Charles, <laughs> can I call you Charles? I'm such a big fan. How exactly are you a fan? In what way do you resemble a means of keeping oneself cool? No, it means fanatic, devoted to. Mind. Is that a boy, Charlie? Nobody calls me Charlie. The Charlie. Do. How do you know that? <laughs> I told you. Charlie. The poor girl's still alive, sir. What are we going to do with her? I don't know. Perhaps you'll do us an exorcism on the cheap. Say I'm not in. Tell them we close. Just, just get rid of them. Bro. Oh! Ours, the dead don't die on schedule. I demand to see On your schedule. Lie to me, child! It's on schedule. What Shakespeare is going on? See, doesn't he kind of look like he could be kidding related me, to yeah. the doctor? I'm just kidding. Ish. Well, kidding me but not me. really. Look, I've only seen two episodes so far. There's something inside the walls. That's her. They're like zombie ghost things. Must be. We're under some mesmeric influence. No, we're not. The dead are walking. My name's the doctor. Who are you then? What do you want? Failing. Open the rift. We're dying. Trapped in this form cannot sustain. Open the rift. Help us. <laughs> but I never had much bother <laughs> until about three months back, and then the stiffs uh, restless. Tommy Rod. You witnessed it. Tommy Rod. Can't keep the beggars down. <laughs> Morbid fancy. Oh, Charles, you were there. <laughs> I saw nothing but an illusion. What about the gas? Uh, well, that's new, sir. I've never seen anything like that. Stories going back generations. Echoes in the dark. Mind you, truth be told, it's been good face. for business. Just what people expect from a gloomy old trade like me. <laughs> She's funny. What you gonna find, Charlie? <laughs> Checking for strings. What? Oh, come on, Charles. All right. I shouldn't have told you to shut up. I'm sorry. Perfect home for these gas things. They can slip inside, use it as a vehicle, just like your driver and his coach. Stop it. I've always railed against yeah. the fantasist. Oh, I loved an illusion as much as the next man reveled in them. That's exactly what they were. Illusions. The real Illusions. Words. Something else. I hoped that I was a force for good. Now you tell me that the <laughs> real face. world is a realm of spectres. Have I wasted my brief span here, Doctor? Has it all been for nothing? How much do you get paid? Eight pound a year, miss. How much? I know. I would have been happy with six. Of course I did. What do you think I am, an urchin? <laughs> I went every Sunday, nice and proper. To be honest, I hated every second. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he used to go and look at boys. <laughs> well, I don't know much about that, miss. Oh, come on, times haven't changed that much. I suppose there is one lad. Butcher's boy. He comes by every Tuesday. Good smile. Thank you. Nice bum. <laughs> oh. Well, I have never heard the like. I swear it is the strangest thing, miss. You've got all the claws and the breeding, but you talk like some sort of wild thing. 
maybe I am. <laughs> He's not so bad, old Sneed. He was very kind to me to take me in, because I lost my mum and dad to the flu when I was 12. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe your dad's up there waiting for you too, miss. Maybe. Hmm. Um, who told you he was dead? My father died years back. You've been thinking about him lately more than ever? I suppose so. I'm all alone down there. She's a psychic. I bet you've got dozens of servants, haven't you, miss? You're from London. I've seen London in drawings, but never like that. And the noise. And the metal boxes racing past. <laughs> and the birds in the sky. No, <laughs> no they're metal as well. And you, you've flown Flying so far further than anyone. in the metal birds. <laughs> the things you've seen. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, miss. It's all right. I can't help it. Ever since I was a little girl, my mom said I had the sight. She told me to hide it. But it's getting stronger. More powerful, is that right? You grew up on top of the rift. You're part of it. You're the key. I've tried to make sense of it, sir. Table wrappers, all sorts. What the oh, table wrapper? We're gonna have a seance. Not a seance. Come. We must all join hands. I can't take part in this. Homebook, come on, open mind. This is precisely the sort of cheap mummery I strive to unmask. Nothing. Now, don't antagonize her. I love a happy medium. I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> come on, we might need you. Are you there? Spirits, come. Speak to us that we may relieve your burden. This is sheer folly. Look at her. <laughs> sheer folly. His voice, he's funny. I feel them. So dramatic. What's it saying? It can't get through the rift. Gwyneth, it's not controlling you, you're controlling it. Now look deep. Allow them through. I can't. Yes, you can. Just believe it. I have faith in you, Gwyneth. <laughs> Spirits from the other side. The other side of the universe. There is so little time The Gelf. What do you want us to do? The Rift. The last of our kind. We face extinction. Why? What happened? Once we had a physical form like you, the time war raged invisible to smaller species, but devastating to higher forms. Let's do the time case, war again. So that's why you need the corpses. We want to stand tall. We need a physical form, and your dead are abandoned. Let the girl through. We're dying. Help us. All true. Okay. <laughs> it's all true. It's all right. You just sleep. But my angels miss. What are they? Aliens. <laughs> like foreigners, you mean? Ah. see foreign, yeah. From up there. They can only test drive the bodies for so long. Then they have to revert to gas and hide in the pipes. Living on the rifts, you've become part of it. You can open it up, make a bridge, and let them through. Incredible ghosts that are not ghosts. Cadavers. Good system. It might work. <laughs> it's different, Les. It is different, yeah. It's a different morality. Get used to it or go home. You don't understand what's going on. You would say that, miss. Because that's very clear inside your head that you think I'm stupid. That's not fair. It's true, though. Doctor, what do I have to do? You don't have to do anything. They've been singing to me since I was a child. What you choose to Sent do. by my mum on a holy mission. What's the weakest part of this house? The place where most of the ghosts have been seen? No chance you're going to say gazebo, is there? <laughs> gazebo. <laughs> gazebo is a funny-ass word, isn't it? Talk about bleak house. I think the room is getting colder. Here they come. You come to hell. I'll take you somewhere else after the transfer. Somewhere you can build proper bodies. Okay, where's the weak point? Here, beneath the arch. Beneath the arch. You don't have to do this. I can see you. Come. We wish I could establish it. Come to me. It is the gun. The bridge is made. Oh. She has given herself to the girl. 
She got a glow ball in her mouth or something. Stop this! Listen to your master. This has gone far enough. Oh! Dang it! March with us. No, thank you. Not while I'm alive. Not the flesh. Not the world and all its flesh. I haven't even been born yet. It's impossible for me to die. Uh, Isn't it? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Born in the 20th century and die in the 19th. Oh, That's all my could you fault. imagine? What about me? I saw the fall of Troy, World War Five. Okay, well, push boxes the you've seen enough party. then. Now I'm gonna die in a dungeon. What? You become one of them. <laughs> Together? Yeah. I'm so glad I met you. Aww. Doctor, doctor, turn off the flame, turn up the gas. What, so he choked to death instead? Am I correct, Doctor? These creatures are gaseous. Smart, I smart, hope... smart. Oh, Lord. I hope that this theory will be validated. Put it, stand them back alive. They're not angels. They're nice. from hell. Look at them. They give you the strength now. Send them back. Come, free. Charles, get around. <laughs> Unless you send them back through the rift. I can't send them back. Hold them in his boots. Hold them here. Forever? Get out. Leave this place. Rose, get out. Go now. I won't leave her while she's still in danger. Now go! This way. I'm sorry. Thank you. She's gonna sacrifice herself. Nope. I'm sorry. She closed the rift. The poor child. I did try, Rose, but Gwyneth was already dead. I think she was dead from the minute she stood in that arch. But she can't have. She spoke to us. She, she helped us. She saved us. Than I dreamt of in your philosophy. Even for you, Doctor. Doctor. A servant girl. No one will ever know. Charlie boy, I've just got to go into my um shed. Maybe Charlie oh, should write a book about it. What are you gonna do now? This is no He's time. So dramatic. Man. I shall spend Christmas with my family and make amends to them. You cheer up. Exceedingly. <laughs> this morning I thought I knew everything in the world. Now I know I've just started. I shall be subtle at first. The mystery of Edwin Drood still lacks an ending. The mystery of Edwin Drood and the Blue Elementals. I can spread the word. Tell the truth. Good luck with it. Uh, nice to meet you. Mm. Fantastic. If it's referencing any of his oh, books. I, uh, how modern. Never I read them. Sound. In what way is this goodbye? There's one mystery you still haven't explained. Answer me this. Who are you? Just a friend passing through but you have such knowledge of future times I, I don't wish to impose on you doctor do they last oh yes for how long forever down boy see ya <laughs> could you imagine could you imagine Doesn't that change history if he writes about blue ghosts he'll never get to tell his story oh no he was so nice but in your time, he was already dead. We've brought him back to life. Let's give him one last surprise. He only lives one more year? That's sad. 
Could you imagine being able to hang out and meet Charles Dickens? That was another solid episode. I dig it. I dig it. I'm starting to to really enjoy it. The humor and the uh, creepiness of some aspects and the special effects. Uh, Can't wait to continue the journey. So let me know what y'all thought about this episode. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.